Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we have another amazing free synth VST plugin. It is called Signature Light from Produce RNB. It's an awesome little synth VST plugin and it's free. So let's see what this plugin is capable of. Let me show you the sound demo of it. Let's see the UI of the plugin itself. If you click on this little icon in here, you can actually change the skin of this plugin, okay? You can choose any skin that you like. They have a bunch of skin. I think that's pretty awesome when a plugin is capable of do that. So I'm gonna keep, just keep it black for now. You can also resize your UI. I think every plugin should have these features, okay? The skin and the resize of the UI. That's something that they should consider. Anyway, let's see. Uh, if you click on this little magnifying icon, you can see the these presets in here. Obviously, you're gonna have less presets in here because it's a light version, but uh, they have pretty awesome presets in here. You can also layer things up from here. You can also manipulate the sound from here. You have two oscillators in here. You have two wave shapers, and you have all these knobs to manipulate the sound. Okay, let's play some of the sound. Okay. Let's start from the bass. Okay, let's play this bass first. So these are the, some of the presets that it comes with it and it, some of them are really awesome. For a free plugin you can ask for more, it has everything that you need that you want in a synth and it's absolutely free, the sounds are amazing. So the activation part is quite tricky so make sure you watch the video full so you don't face any problem installation this plugin and yeah I'll see in the next part. So guys for your convenience I have put the link in the description you go ahead and click that and it will straightly bring you to this website you need to fill up your details in here name email and phone number so do that so after you fill up your details in here just click on download now and it will bring you to this site where you're gonna see thank you for the trying signature please check your email for your downloads 
check your email address so in your email they're gonna give you download link as well as the password and the serial key okay so click on download and you need to copy the password for the Dropbox paste here continue download and it's downloading okay let it download so after you have downloaded it we need to extract it so extract it I'm gonna delete this now let's open this folder up and you have for Mac and for Windows okay I'm gonna delete the Mac one too because it's gonna take space let's run the setup now this box should pop up for all users just let it be okay click yes select language you can choose from I'm gonna select English click OK click next click next click install and it will install it's not gonna take much time so let it just do its work and it's done okay now let's load up our FL studio go to options file settings manage plugins find install plugins and let it scan and it has done the scanning let's see here it is so we can close all of this let's go to this plugin icon go to install go to generators in here you're gonna say new right here it is we're gonna just drag and drop in here now we have to select the sample folder choose the folder where we have extracted the folder in my case it's in desktop here it is and here's the folder open it up it's not showing anything that's because we didn't extract it so we need to extract the folder too here it is let's extract that too okay let it extract now when you go back and choose a folder it will show you click on desktop and select this select folder after that you have to go back to your email address and then copy and paste the serial key that they have sent you so I'm gonna do that now guys in my case I have to struggle a bit to activate the code because I just copy and try to paste it but it didn't work okay when I saw the serial key I noticed that there was an error made I don't I'm not sure if that would be in your case too or it's just in my case but this is something you should know too uh, they put here double line in here but uh, you need to remove that line and put line like this okay and then try to activate it you have to manually edit it on the the box that pop up okay otherwise they won't recognize the serial key anyway guys so this is how you activate this uh, plugin I think it was a bug or mistake from their si side but yeah that's how you activate this plugin and I really hope it helps please comment rate subscribe and share and I'll see you in the next video guys peace I'm out